Welcome book enthusiasts. Have you ever wondered about the leadership style of Satya Nadella, the man at the helm of Microsoft? Or perhaps have you read Hit Refresh? Today we're taking a deep dive into this transformative book penned by none other than Microsoft's CEO himself. Released in 2017, Hit Refresh provides a rare glimpse into Nadella's approach to leadership and his vision for reinventing Microsoft in the age of mobile and cloud computing. What makes this book so intriguing is its exploration of not just technology, but the human elements, the inspirations, the failures, and the lessons that shape a company's journey. From rediscovering Microsoft's soul to fostering a growth mindset and leading with empathy, Nadella shares his blueprint for success in this constantly evolving digital landscape. So without further ado, let's dive into the 10 big ideas from the book, Hit Refresh. Buckle up for a journey of insights, innovation, and inspiration. Insight 1. Rediscover your soul and purpose. Let's delve into this. Satya Nadella, upon stepping into the role of Microsoft CEO, realized the importance of rekindling the company's original purpose, utilizing technology to empower people and organizations. This wasn't a fleeting inspiration, but rather a guiding light that shaped his vision. It led him to reorient Microsoft around platforms and services that are both omnipresent and intelligent. Imagine a lighthouse guiding a ship in the darkness. That's what this original purpose was for Nadella. It was a beacon, reminding him and the entire organization of their initial mission, their raison d'etre, if you will. This rediscovery of soul and purpose was not just about reminiscing the past, but rather about using it as a compass to navigate the future. Moving on to insight two, the growth mindset over a fixed one. This is where Nadella's philosophy takes an interesting turn. He emphasizes the importance of a growth mindset, one that thrives on curiosity, learning, and adaptability. In contrast to this is the fixed mindset, a mindset that resists new information and clings to the status quo. Think about it this way. A growth mindset is like a river, continually flowing and adapting to its environment whereas a fixed mindset is like a stagnant pool, resistant to change. Nadella firmly believes that to prosper in an era of rapid technological change, one must embody the flowing river, the growth mindset. This belief has influenced how he approaches everything, from product development to company culture. In essence, by rekindling Microsoft's original purpose and fostering a growth mindset, Nadella has breathed new life into the company. He's created an environment where innovation thrives and where the company is driven not just by profit, but by the desire to empower people and organizations through technology. These insights shape the way Nadella approaches his leadership role at Microsoft. It's about looking back to move forward and about growing and adapting, not just surviving. It's about making technology an enabler, not a constraint. And most importantly, it's about empowering people to achieve more. Insight three, learn from failures. As we unravel the pages of Hit Refresh, we stumble upon the intriguing insights of Satya Nadella. The third insight nudges us to peek into the past, into the failures that Microsoft and its CEO have encountered. Nadella candidly discusses the company's missteps with smartphones, the acquisition of Nokia, and the missed opportunities in technology shifts. Rather than sweeping these failures under the rug, Nadella embraced them as learning opportunities. These experiences shaped his approach to business, driving him to cultivate a more customer-centric mindset within Microsoft. He understood that to truly resonate with their audience, they needed to be responsive to their needs and willing to pivot business priorities. The journey of learning from failures is not a smooth one, but it is these bumps on the road that have been instrumental in transforming Microsoft into a more agile and adaptable organization. Nadella's perspective on failure is a powerful lesson for us all. It is not about avoiding mistakes, but about learning, growing, and evolving from them. As we move on to our fourth insight, we find ourselves delving into the realm of empathy. Nadella firmly believes in leading with empathy. He credits his son Zayn, who has special needs, for teaching him the true power of empathy. It was through his personal experiences that he realized empathy was not just a trait to be admired, but a powerful tool in leadership. Nadella argues that empathy is an underestimated leadership quality, essential for understanding different users' needs and perspectives when developing products. 
Empathy is not about putting yourself in someone else's shoes. It's about understanding their journey and designing solutions that cater to their unique needs. These insights underline the importance of being customer obsessed and empathetic. Nadella's leadership at Microsoft embodies these principles, demonstrating that success in the technology industry, and indeed in any industry, is not just about innovation and growth, but also about understanding, empathizing, and responding to the needs of the people you serve. Insight 5. Partnerships over Go It Alone. In the book Hit Refresh, Satya Nadella talks about the significant shift he initiated at Microsoft. He moved the company from a combative stance to a more collaborative approach. This was a surprising change of pace for many as Microsoft, under Nadella's leadership, began forming partnerships with companies that were once considered rivals. Companies like Red Hat, Apple, and Salesforce became collaborators rather than competitors. Nadella recognized that in an ever-evolving world, dominated by mobile and cloud computing, meeting customer needs required a wider net of partnerships. A go-it-alone approach would limit the potential to deliver comprehensive solutions to users. This move towards collaboration underscores the importance of partnerships in modern business strategy. Now let's move on to Insight 6, Democratize AI. Under Nadella, Microsoft has developed a keen focus on making artificial intelligence tools broadly accessible. The aim is to empower every individual and organization to achieve more. This is a significant departure from the notion of AI as a tool exclusive to tech giants or specialized industries. Nadella recognizes the potential risks associated with AI, particularly if it falls out of sync with human values. He emphasizes the need for AI to be developed and used responsibly. This involves ensuring that AI tools are widely available and are designed to enhance human capabilities rather than replace them. Democratizing AI is about more than just broad accessibility. It's about creating a balance between technological advancement and human values. It's about ensuring that AI is used to empower people and organizations, not to marginalize or replace them. These insights highlight the shift in Microsoft's strategy under Nadella's leadership. From fostering unexpected partnerships to democratizing AI, Nadella's approach has been about redefining the role of technology and its interaction with humanity. He envisions a world where technology empowers people, where AI is a tool for all, and where partnerships trump rivalries. It's a vision that has shaped Microsoft's direction and continues to guide its future. Insight 7, Pursue Quantum Computing. Diving into this intriguing insight, we find Microsoft's ambitious yet relatively unknown efforts to build a topological quantum computer. This isn't an easy task or a short-term goal, yet the company is pushing the boundaries of what's possible, seeking fundamental breakthroughs in physics to make it happen. This pursuit of quantum computing is more than just an exciting scientific endeavor. It's a testament to Microsoft's commitment to continuous innovation. It's a pledge to not just keep up with the times, but to stay ahead, to anticipate the next wave of technological advancement, and to be ready when it arrives. And it's not just about the company's success. It's about empowering individuals and organizations to achieve more. Quantum computing promises to solve complex problems beyond the reach of even the most powerful classical computers. By pursuing this technology, Microsoft is aiming to unlock new possibilities, new solutions, and new opportunities for everyone. On to Insight 8, Modernize Privacy Laws. Here, Nadella makes a compelling case for a thoughtful overhaul of outdated digital privacy laws. In an era where data is the new oil, privacy is indeed a pressing concern. While encryption is crucial, it's equally important to ensure that our laws are up to date and capable of addressing the challenges posed by the digital age. Nadella argues for a balance, a balance that respects and protects individual digital rights, but also facilitates law enforcement within reasonable bounds. This isn't just about Microsoft's business interests. It's about the broader societal implications of technology. It's about creating an environment where innovation can thrive without compromising on public safety or individual freedoms. These insights reflect Microsoft's vision for the future. A future where technology is not just about Silicon Valley giants, but about empowering every individual and organization. A future that values privacy and security as much as innovation and progress. 
a future that we all can look forward to with optimism and confidence. Insight 9. Technology should empower, not replace humans. Satya Nadella firmly believes that rather than posing a threat, advances such as artificial intelligence and mixed reality, if guided responsibly, can amplify our human capabilities. He maintains that it's crucial to drive technological progress with a focus on empowering people, not replacing them. And finally, Insight 10. Economic Inclusiveness. Nadella concludes his book by arguing that the impending technology revolution should benefit a wider group of people. He suggests that corporations and governments need to ensure this through skills training, basic income, profit allocation, and addressing job losses due to automation across various industries. In summary, from rediscovering a company's soul to advocating for economic inclusiveness, Hit Refresh provides us with 10 invaluable insights into leadership and technology from the perspective of Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella. These were the 10 key insights from Hit Refresh. What are your thoughts? Share in the comments below.